Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial where we're gonna review a couple of new features and enhancements that have been added to the advanced bank reconciliation process in application version 10.0.34. The new features greatly enhanced the user experience of the bank reconciliation process through a couple of new features that are managed by the feature management workspace. The first feature enables the user to filter the bank statement records and the bank transactions with several filter options during the bank reconciliation process, as well as it provides a separate grid for the new transactions. The second feature was released some time ago in version 10.0.31 with the objective to specify the accounting date for the new transactions and post them in separate vouchers. The third feature enables the users to review the posted vouchers through the bank statement form. And the fourth feature is a performance enhancement by reconciling the worksheet in a batch mode. Last but not least, with features 5 and 6, you will have the ability to reverse the bank statement and the bank reconciliation, even if they have new posted transactions. Now let's explore the new features one by one. The first feature called Advanced Bank Reconciliation Improvement enable filtering and provide separate grid for new transactions. This feature provides two enhancements. The first one, the ability to apply filters on the bank transactions and bank statement records. And the second one, it provides a separate grid for new transactions. Here I just imported a couple of transactions and validated this bank statement. Then in the bank reconciliation, I have created this reconciliation record. Now let's review the worksheet. Here we can see the new filter options. We can apply the filters on the bank statement transactions grid or the bank transactions grid or both together. In order to apply a filter, just click here, open filters, and here we can apply several filters considering different criteria. So we can consider, for example, the dates, amounts, either for the debit or credit amounts, bank transaction codes, references, and a statement ID. Let's here, for example, apply a filter for the debit amount from 5,000, then I'll click apply. Here we can see the transactions filtered out and we can review also the applied filter. When the filters are not necessary, we can click here, clear filters. And now let's move to the matching process. I'm going to match the first two transactions against the bank transactions, where the remaining two transactions will be considered as a new transactions. So I'm going to select them, then I'll click mark as new. Here we can see that we have a separate grid for the matched transactions and a new separate grid for the new transactions. Indeed, this will help the users to easily review the matched and the new transactions separately, and it will overcome the challenges that we are happening while using the unmatch all option before this feature, as it was not possible to unmatch all in case of the old mixed grid having new transactions. Right now, I can unmatch all matched transactions and I can unmark all the new transactions. The second feature is enable batch mode for mark as reconciled in advanced bank reconciliation. When the data volume is large, then probably it will take long time for the system to complete the reconciliation process in online mode and potentially it results in a session timeout. When this feature is enabled, then the user could perform the mark as reconciled action in batch mode for better performance. In order to reconcile the worksheet in a batch mode, then here in the reconciliation form, just click mark as reconciled in batch. Yes. Then here we can monitor and check the progress of marking as reconciled in batch. 
initially it will be not started yet then it will be executed showing the percentage completion then at the end it will be finished the third feature is the new voucher and date for new transactions in the advanced bank reconciliation bank statement this feature has been released in 10.0.31 and it provides two enhancements the first one, the ability to specify the accounting date of the new transactions, either by the imported date of the bank statement or the booking date, as well as the ability to manually set the accounting date. Before this feature, the accounting date was the import date of the bank statement. The second enhancement, the fact on how the generated voucher of the new transactions will be posted. Before this feature, it was a consolidated voucher for all the new transactions. When this feature is enabled, it will be posted separately for every new transaction. The fourth feature is display vouchers in bank statement. When this feature is enabled, then the user can directly check the posted vouchers of the new transactions in the bank statement form. Before this feature, it was a cumbersome as the user has to navigate to the bank account in order to review the posted vouchers. After the bank statement is reconciled, here we can see that we have two transactions that have been marked as new. Then, here in the grid, we can review the accounting date that will be used as the voucher date when the statement is posted. This date is configured as per a parameter in the cash and bank management parameters bank reconciliation set the booking date as default accounting date for new transactions. When this option is enabled, then the accounting date will be the booking date. Otherwise, when this feature or when this option is disabled, then the bank statement import date will be used as the accounting date. In addition to that, we can also update the accounting date manually using this option, update accounting date. So for example, this record has a booking date 2nd of April. I'll mark this record, update accounting date. Then here we can see that one line will be updated. Then I'll select uh, 22, then I'll click OK. So. Here we can see the accounting date is 22. Now we are ready to post the statement. I'll click post, post. Then here, let's review the vouchers. First, we can see here that the voucher has been posted separately. Then we can also review the voucher of each record. So I'll select this record, for example, then I'll click voucher, then here we can see the voucher of the third line. Then let's review this one as well. The feature number five is enable bank reconciliation reversal. Even new transactions exist in posted bank statement. Before this feature is enabled, if you try to reverse a bank reconciliation that contains new transaction, then this error message appears. Bank reconciliation cannot be reverted due to existing new transaction, but this will be possible when this feature is enabled. Last but not least, reverse posted bank statement with new transactions. Before this feature is released or even when this feature is disabled, if you try to reverse a posted bank statement that contains new transactions, you will observe that the reverse statement option is disabled. This is not the case when this feature is enabled. When the feature is enabled, you can reverse the posted bank statements that contains posted transaction. This feature is an enhancement to an existing feature called reverse posted bank statement. So this feature must be enabled before using this one. So this is a statement that has been posted and as we can see that we have new transactions. Right now we can reverse this statement. So I'll click here reverse statement and then 
here we can see the vouchers to be reversed. Here we can specify the reversal date as well as the reason code if it's required. Reason code is a normal bank reason code. So I'll select here the reason code like a data entry issue. Then I'll click here reverse. Then we can see the voucher has been reversed.